signing and welcome to June. June can stay without a shadow of a doubt. I can ask can the whole weekend. Thank you very much, Bobby. Thank you, Fergie. Whole of the balcony to walk over. Why would you not want to walk against my table? Where would the fun in that be? Where would it be? Come and join us. Come and join us. It is a beautiful day. Welcome if you're watching this live today or welcome if you're watching it um, on catch up or you're watching it on YouTube. Let us know. Hashtag catch up. Hashtag YouTube. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how June is and the weather is near you because this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I thought we would, because you haven't seen it for a little while, do a bit of a catch up. Because um, I was working out, it's the sixth month. I actually did the January, February, March, April, May, June. It's the sixth month. Because it's all done by anyone else, it's all blended into one. Um, so I thought we'd do a bit of a catch up. And also, I've just been writing some notes for this month's class, uh, Tuesday evening classes, which is all about back to some kind of normality. And then I had to start back with what is our new normality? And what do we need to do about getting back into our new normality? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's not just as easy as just writing. Oh, well, this is what we need to do. So that is what I wanted to cover um, this month. That's what I'm going to cover on my Tuesday evening classes. There are spaces left if anybody wants to join us. It's on a Zoom, half six till half eight. Every week I'm on the 22nd off. Other than that, I will be here. Um, or hopefully in Spain as well doing it. So this month I want us to start to find out what our new normality is find out what our new normality is but before we do that while we're waiting for everybody to join us i want to show you um the potato field at the side of us because we watched it being dug which was incredible wasn't it do you remember that uh, and being seeded oh if that's the right word i'm too sure uh, but i want to show you how much this has changed so bear with me i'll just show you my this is why i spent oops a days is my whole weekend that is my my sleeping thing there Look at this! Now there are no, at the moment, uh, it's not telling me who's on and oh, here we go, it's starting to come through now. Morning Linda! I was just going to say there was no kind of messages coming up so I didn't want you to think I was ignoring you. Look! How beautiful that is. And I'll tell you what's really nice in an evening is we, we will sit either here or wherever we're sitting and you look outside and it just looks like a mass sea of green. It's incredible and such a stunning green as well. How much have they grown? Man, you guys be honest, they've had some perfect growing conditions, haven't they? With the loads and loads of wind, uh, sorry, loads and loads of rain, followed by a bit of sunshine, and now we've had loads of sunshine. And that's the field next door, if you remember. So I think they're doing crops over there and grass over there, which will be feed for the cattle. And on this side is where the potatoes are. It's incredible, isn't it? This is our little garden. I don't know if I can show you that. My goodness me, is it in bloom. I had to do a real chopping back yesterday. I started doing a real chopping back. I didn't finish it. Oh, hello, little birdie. Hello, little birdie. Have you come to say hello? Nice to see you. Once again, just to let you know, the comments aren't coming up. So if you have said hello and have not said hello back, please do not think I'm ignoring you. It's just that they're not coming up. There we go, I'll flex it over. Morning, Deborah. There we go. So, every month, this is like I said, that's where I spent my day yesterday. Actually, on the day before, I'll be honest with you. Just that little spot there. It's nice, isn't it? Hiding away. Okay, back to me. Hello. Let me put it on this table. I've got the wobbliest table with the wobbly stand with three spaniels that walk past. We all know how this is going to end, don't we? So, morning Sandy. June. What does June mean to you? And I thought, it's quite, it's a big month, isn't it, June? Morning Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Your pictures have been a delight, an absolute delight this weekend. Oh, mm. we're to meet London. Um, what does June mean to you and I, I thought to myself it just felt like I don't know it was a month that suddenly made me think oh, cracky we are in June I don't know about anyone else month has just been slipping by slipping by and I thought it's six months since it's been um Christmas how has how, is, how has this happened because it doesn't feel like it so I thought to myself what do I want to do what small changes do I want to do that will nudge me back into being in the here and now 
instead of me focusing on all of the things maybe that I haven't got done, I'm just going to show you something which is really cute. Bear with me. Because that's why I put that bed there. Just for that sole reason. Because like being, being a Spaniel, why would you possibly, possibly sleep on the floor when you can sleep on mummy's bed? Okay, you all right there, folks? You all right, folks? Okay, baby? Yeah, yeah, well, I won't do that monkey's little face. Oh, Fergus and Price, I love you. There we go. That's just, uh, <laughs> that's just normality. They used to do that whether I'm on that bed or not, just so we know. I'm like that, trying to lie in the sun with spaniels over me. It's, it's not the best, I'll be honest with you. Um, but we won't complain about it. So what things do you want to achieve this month? How do you want to feel this month? Because there's a lot going on this month. There's a lot of daily debates of 21st of June, what they're going to do, what aren't they going to do? Are they going to change things? Aren't they going to change things? And they've got the pros and the cons. And I'm not being funny, by the time we get to the 21st of June, we'll all have even more mashed up heads than we've had for the last 18 months. So I thought, what do I want to focus on? What do I want to achieve this month? Um, morning Val, morning Sophie. And I thought what I want to do is I want to bring myself into this month. We've got 1st of June, it's absolutely beautiful sunshine here. I am hope it's beautiful where you are right now. It's a nice temperature actually. So I've put on a new summer dress. Da, 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 da. Wash the hair as you can tell. I put a bit, a little bit of makeup on, I've got the sunglasses ready. But what I did when I went into my bathroom, and I know this is going to sound really daft, but what I did was I changed all the bath mats because I've got some really bright, colourful ones. So I went in this morning, first thing this morning, and changed things around and put in some summer colours. Because visually, I'm always guided by what I see around me. So looking out and looking across at the sea of green that I've got beside me, which I was showing you a minute ago, really kind of makes me feel fresh. It makes me feel alive. You've got the sky, which is blue. And I don't know about anyone else, but I feel like I've lived in the grey of the grey skies, the greyness of we've not been able to do what we want to do, this ever-ending or never-ending, what it's felt like never-ending situation that we've all had. And I've had my moments of colour, but I thought I need to just, do you know what I want to do? I want to just take a grip of this now. I want to start looking at what things do I want to change and when do I want to change them? So I know this month on a Tuesday evening, I'm going to be focusing heavily on how we say no to situations, how we say yes to situations. What is it that we want to do moving forward? What normality do we want back in our life? What are we going to leave behind that we used to do, which was habit, which used to be our life? And we're going to make sure that we carry on doing from now on. We are going to wait till the plane goes over. I had a right one over that yesterday. I can fly outside your own house. <laughs> just was like, you alright love, you alright love. So, <laughs> what is it that you want to achieve this month? Oh, watch you and catch up later. <laughs> I love that Val. See you later Val. <laughs> um, what is it that you want to achieve this month? We've just been having a, a, a good chat, me and, me and just we've had a chat about it all weekend. Oh, there's lots of little jobs that we want to get done within the house. Can you see the bird behind me? Hi Kimberly, hi Vicky. They're right behind my shoulder there. Two of them, isn't there? Oh, love them. Um, lots of little jobs that we want to get done. And they are little jobs. And what, what it feels like to us though, because we're both tired as is everybody else. I've just said to just, we've not had, I, I was lucky enough I went to Spain last year in July uh, for two weeks to see my mum. Um, but other than that, neither of us have had a break for the last couple of years, like a lot of you. Okay, I'm not saying that as though we're the only people. I totally understand a lot of us in the same boat. But we've we've both worked really hard. Um, as can I just point out, not as hard as some of the key workers. Just saying, I am just fully aware of my level of hardness compared to a lot of others. But I said to just, it's no wonder sometimes these smaller jobs feel like mountains. And also, there was a point in our lives not that long ago actually you know you're only talking five six seven years ago where we walked into our relationship with the grandson of nothing i'll be honest with you so everything that we did we did from scratch and it feels like that's where we're at again but we're not and that's what we've been talking about this weekend and justin came out actually with a great saying this weekend is it's about attention to detail that's what we need to focus on we're not starting again 
we're not starting from scratch we haven't got this big mountain that we need to climb what we need to do is just as a little example of this so we've I've been was watching something on TV last week where they were talking about getting some ambience into your garden because I'm, as you well know, very lucky where we live um, with the outside settings. But it's a bit like everything else. I haven't really got the cushions out. Um, I haven't really swept up outside it. We haven't really done this, we haven't really done that. So we're not starting from fresh. Morning, Ems. We have got a little bit of attention to detail. So we have some lights over the banister, over the balcony at the side of me. And uh, so it's not about we need to go and buy some new lights. What we needed to do was get some batteries for the new lights, or for the lights, which we did at weekend. But in our head, because it felt like we were so used to <sighs> big job that needs doing, these little jobs have become really, really overwhelming. And we, we've sat there quite a few times this weekend going, how, how do we do this? What do we need to do? But what we have done is talked about it. We've talked about it and we will now start to make a little bit of a plan, a little bit of how do we move forward. Morning, Helen. So what is it that you want to achieve this month? How do you want to feel? We've got an opportunity now. Whatever does or doesn't happen on the 21st, we have an opportunity together here. Um, however we're watching this is to look at what do we want very slowly, very small steps moving forward and let's make it achievable that's all i seem to be writing about at the moment i'm writing a piece for um a, a, a large company about moving back into normality we're doing my tuesday nights about moving back into normality the whole thing is about not setting ourselves up the whole thing is about taking things very small steps and taking action that is what's really important without it just constantly being up here or on a massive to-do list, I want you to think about what small actions can you take. So me getting my bright coloured bath mats out took me two minutes. Now, every time I walk into the bathroom, it's gonna cheer me up. Sounds really silly, very small tasks, but will make me feel better. And because I feel better doing that, all of a sudden now I'm looking at the living room and I'm thinking we've got a beautiful big sofa, big sofa, and I'm thinking it's full of the, the, the throws as we well know we need when we've got spaniels. Um, it's all in grey, it's lovely, but I'm thinking that is not inspiring me. So what do I need to do? I need to look at potentially getting some new co cushion covers. Now, I am going to get that, just cushion covers. I am going to go on wherever I go on Amazon or wherever I go. It'll be like 14, 15 pound for new cushion covers, not new cushions. This isn't about going spending a lot of money, she says to herself out loud. <laughs> no, but it isn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable. I'd never end up getting, up, getting it done. But what, what small things can you do? So it's like sitting out here. I've brought, I'll show you again, because I just love this. Why would you not want to sit here? This was part of a sofa that we had downstairs. So we've got a settee downstairs and I think it's a big footstool as well. So what I've done is I've made it into my little daytime sunbed there because that will encourage me to come out now I've got one of the blue cushions that is from inside so I'm going to change that I want to get a really nice bright summer cushion and um, same with the throws and things like that it's you probably find you've got them same with the bath mats my bath mats I've already got this is not unique to right now in this year this is about thinking to ourselves right come on let's just change from where I am what is it that I like that's around me? Is it I want to spend more time outside? Do I need to just kind of titivate outside a little bit? That's such a funny word, I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my inner child went, mm. it made me laugh. It's a good job, Mr. P, weren't you? Because we would have rolled laughing. Um, just an insight into my brain. What is it that you want to do more of? What is it that's stopping you? How can you inspire yourself? I once and got some plants at weekend. And I got them from uh, I think Morrison's, I think it was, I want to want B&M, bit of both. And I got some colour. And again, if I do some pots that I can put outside, it makes it prettier. It will encourage me to go out. This is, this is my request to you. This is my little bit of a nudge right now, because I need a nudge. I'm not saying you need a nudge, you might be way ahead of me. <laughs> Often you are. But what is it that you need nudging on? What is it that you can just go this is what I'm going to achieve this is what I want to do we all have a million and one things list wise that we can get done or want to get done and then it feels like so overwhelming we all have those lists but what is it 
that you know, pick two or three things that you know will make a difference to yourself and to those, to how you're feeling and those people around you. Okay. That feels like I just spoke for 15 minutes without a breath. Sorry about that. <laughs> Not really sorry, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> something I feel very passionate about, as you can tell, and something that I have to keep reminding myself because it's so easy to think, I haven't done that, I haven't done that, and I haven't done that. Oh, and I didn't get that done. I want us to stop thinking like that right now. That's all right. But I want us to stop. I want us to look at what have we got done? What have we got through? And what can we start to do moving forward? Cool. Should we have five, ten minutes where we just chill? <laughs> I feel that would be nice, wouldn't it? No, no I've finished blah, talking to you for loads. There are very, very few messages coming up and coming through. So I really am sorry if you've passed anything through or you, you, you've said hello to me and I've not said hello back. Please don't think I'm being rude. <laughs> They're just not coming up. It's like randomly everyone, one every now and again. So please don't think I'm ignoring you. Um, I'm not. I'd tell you if I was, but I'm not. Um, so let, because the sun is out, just pointing out. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's get ourselves settled. Let's get ourselves comfortable. Oh, listen to those birds. Let us. Wow, Ems. That is dedication on the 1st of June. Well done, you. Get ourselves comfy. And I want us now just to spend just a couple of minutes us catching up to where we are today and being so grateful for everything that we've got done and we have been through and how we are still here. We might be here and we might be cream crackered. We might be here and we might be feeling fantastic. Whatever we are feeling right now, I want you just to know that it's okay. So I'm going to use the colour green, this beautiful green that we've got at the side of me here. I want us to use this as an inspiration. This colour is what's kind of really jumping out at me at the moment. So I want you to get settled in wherever you're sitting or lying, however you're watching this. Get yourself settled in. Allow your shoulders to drop. Just allow those shoulders to drop. And I really want you to relax your jaw. I don't mind if you just want to just spend a moment and this is where I can get tense. Morning, Cheryl. It's where I can get tense sometimes. Doesn't mean that's where you get tense, but I do get tense. Hi, Claire. Relax those shoulders. I'm allowing the sun just to melt away any tension that I've got around my shoulders, around my neck, letting my jaw relax. If you're comfortable too, you choose to close your eyes. Sometimes that just helps. Wow, your eyes are closed. I want you to feel that warmth, that soothing warmth upon you. just allow ourselves these moments to gather ourselves and just to be. I want us to celebrate. We're here on the 1st of June. Listen to the birds. Allow those shoulders to drop. Just release any tension, let it go. Your eyes are heavy. Relax your cheeks and your forehead. allow yourself to be in this moment whatever you are in this moment 
in your heart, I want you to think about that beautiful green that was at the side of me. I want you to allow that green, if you're comfortable with that and if you need another colour, please change it, that's absolutely fine. But for me, it feels like that green is hope, is that no matter what has been going on, we are still growing. We've sat there through the showers and the storms. We've been together through the sunshine and the smiles. And each day we've been here. Right now, I just want you to rest in the warmth of the sunshine and allow that warmth and that green into your heart. whatever colour feels comfortable to you. Just allow it to be there, that sense of gratitude and love, that sense of congratulations, that sense of pride. Look at what we've been through. Let some of that weariness go now. Just let it go. That last 15, 16 month is coming to an end now and let's let go of some of the things that we've been through. Some of the things we've worked hard to ensure that we're still here today. Just putting it down, piece by piece. Now is the time to start planning as we want to move forward in our time and what is best and most comfortable for us. But to be able to do that, we need to let go of some of the things that we're carrying. We need to let go of some of the fears and the worry of the last 16, 17 months. That's not forgetting what we've been through, but we need to be putting some of it down now. We can't take a step forward if we're carrying that with us. Just put it down. Allow it to go back into those fields that are at the side of me. And the earth will just churn it over and allow it to grow as something new and beautiful. Just allow it to go. And you're allowing that to go down as you're putting it down into the ground, into the earth. I want you to feel as though you're rising through the top. So the weight has gone down through your legs, down through your feet, into the ground. You feel like that you're rising through the soil underneath. Now is our time. Now is our time to be more carefree. Now is our time to know that whatever we need to get through in the next week or two or three, we'll get through. know that as that helicopter just went above there they have a bigger view of where we are right now and whatever needs or wants or things that are happening in the near future know there will be a time very shortly afterwards that those have passed keeping that colour green close to your heart represents your strength and your love. Again, change the colour if the colour is more suitable for something else. Allowing everything now to just go down through your feet, out through the soles of them as though they are the roots of the plants that are next door. Just to let it go, feed it back into the earth. 
leaving you feeling lighter and fresher, leaving your mind feeling clearer and calmer. Enjoying this warmth and sunshine. Listening to those birds, listening to that song of joy. Allowing that joy now to come forward into June with us. Bringing those splashes of colour, of hope, and of life. And if things opening up again in our world, but at our pace, with our boundaries. Knowing that it's okay to say no to things that we're not ready for right now. If someone else doesn't like the answer to that, then that's theirs to deal with, not yours. Pushing it out. Allowing that calm and relaxation just to travel through your body, feeling lighter. Feeling ready to take the next steps. But at your pace, what feels best for you? You've done all the hard work now. That's what's given you the strength and the stamina to get through the last 16 months and all of the times before. That's always within you now. Now it's time to allow your colours to shine. Now it's time to allow the roots that you've taken that have gone so deep, that you've worked so hard on. Now it's time to allow Whatever colour flower you choose to be or plant you choose to be, those are your choices. But allow yourself now to shine. It takes time. And there'll be days where we'll enjoy the sunshine and days where you think, oh, I want to wrap myself up again. We need both of those days. We need both of those days to grow. But let's enjoy the days that are like this. And as the saying says, learn to dance in the rain. Feeling at the bottom of our feet as though it's really connected to the floor. Feeling lighter and lighter as I travel up my body. Feeling free. Feeling ready. A sense of excitement. Just a moment of a strand of excitement that's in there, a strand of joy. 
as well as our strands of caution and safety and love and freedom. Knowing you're not on your own on this journey. Slowly, if you choose to, coming back into the room where we are now. If you choose to stay where you are, no, that's absolutely fine. You'll awaken when you're ready. Ready for your day. Feeling relaxed. Having that hint of a smile around you. Coming back into the where you are today. You might want to wiggle your toes a little bit. Oh, hello, Mum. You might want to have a little stretch. Oh, I feel like I really need to release my shoulders. I really hope that that was as nice for you as it was for me. Oh, thank you, Linda. I was just hoping that. I was just thinking that. That was so nice. I could so have stayed there. Um, thank you, Linda. That was really nice. I'm glad that works for, works for you because sometimes I forget. I just think, this is lovely. <laughs> so it's nice to know. It's not just me. I um, <laughs> make myself chuckle there, don't I? Have the most wonderful, wonderful week. Oh, Ems, that's nice. That's nice. It's all about changing. It's all about changing. I love that. I love that. Changing from one to another and then working with where we are. Working with where we are. Enjoy your day today. I will see some of you later this afternoon. I will see some of you throughout the week. Um, I will be, bit. what day is it? It's Tuesday, isn't it? I will be back Thursday morning. No, I won't this week. I need to change Thursday morning this week. You don't need to know that. I'll tell you about that later. Um, it's gonna be Thursday afternoon. I've got a meeting Thursday morning. So little changes. Um, welcome to my week. <laughs> this opening up, it's great. But it's like, ooh, chaos with my schedule. Have a wonderful day today. If you can get outside in it today, please do. Even if you go outside and sit in the shade, just try and get outside today. Or at least get near a window or open a window. Um, but please do and have that thought about what do you want from this month? How do you want to feel in this month? Thank you. Mwah. As always, give yourselves a nice hug, please. Oh, that feels nice being in the sun, I'll be honest with you. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all later on. Bye, bye, bye.